Caro can defense, classical variation, 5.ng3bg66.h4h67.nf3. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that Black got the better of. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. In the Karo Khan defense, the pawns on d7 and d5 can be quickly pushed to take control of the center and engage the e4 pawn. The d4 square seizes the center and launches an assault on the e5 and c5 squares. The pawn on e4 is under attack from the center, where d5. And c3 protects the e4 pawn and attacks the d5 pawn. dx e4 opens up the center and plans to meet nx e4 with either bf5 or nf6, challenging the knight. It is best. nx e4 recaptures with the knight in the center of the board where it controls many important squares. It is best. bf5 develops the bishop and attacks the knight on e4, black can play e7 e6 next, without trapping the light-squared bishop on c8. It is excellent. Ng3 attacks the bishop on f5 and controls the e4 square. It is best. Bg6 retreats the attacked bishop, but keeps it on the active diagonal where it controls both the e4 and d3 squares. It is best. h4 takes space on the king side and threatens h5 h6, which would win black's light-squared bishop. It is excellent. h6 opens up the h7 square for the bishop to retreat to, and also stops white from placing a piece on the g5 square. It is best. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, protects the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. It is best. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Backs off. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This threatens to win a pawn. It is the last book move. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. This prevents a queen on the other side from checking. It is ideal. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. That's good. When a bishop moves away from being attacked, this gains a tempo. It is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is quite good. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This threatens to prevent castling. It is excellent. This misses an opportunity to capture a vulnerable pawn. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a queen. It is a miss. This exposes an attack, threatening a queen. This took advantage of a mistake and white now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. This protects a knight who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is ideal. This poses a checkmate threat. That's good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. This reveals an attack on a queen. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This shields the knight who was attacked. It is ideal. This threatens to play checkmate. There was only one good move there. This ignores an opportunity to threaten checkmate. It is a miss giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening.
That was a well-fought middle game that Black got the better of.